So, hello everyone, welcome back to my scrapyard. I'm your host Pivin, and today we are back to work on uh, the th uh, MacBook I have sourced. So, mm, last time uh, we, I managed to power on the laptop uh, during the interim, we managed to power on the laptop and see if it actually works. And it does work. Uh, the only issue that I had is the lack of a uh, functioning SSD, which I inserted one right here. Uh, I originally wanted to buy a new SSD, but it turns out that I just had this SSD after my... Oh, Jesus, I'm going to cut this one out. Uh, I, had, I had the SSD uh, from my old laptop just laying around so I decided it would be a great idea to get it out oh, damn it. Uh, and use it on this laptop. I already managed to insert it into this uh, laptop and try to get some work done on, on it. I originally wanted to install macOS 10.8 Mountain Lion but I figured out that because I have, uh, I already have a functioning uh, macOS computer, uh, I just installed Kali Linux on it. How do you pronounce it? Kali Linux? Kali Linux? I don't know. Uh, well, either way, I installed it there mainly for the meme because I had no better ideas on what OS to install on that thing. So I just installed uh, Kali Linux on it. Uh, in the meantime, I also managed to source some screws because I practically didn't have any. Uh, I managed to get these uh, Torx screws that will hold the um, hold the SSD in uh, in place, and uh, also the uh, bottom cover. Mm, screws in order to hold it in better because right now while I have already been using the uh, MacBook like this the bottom cover certainly isn't very sound structurally so it's best if I get the mm, if I get it screwed back into place and uh, I also obtained uh, a bracket for the uh, hard drive. Mm. I'm just going to need to... I'm going to definitely need to invest in a sort of, some sort of stand for my uh, phone <laughs> camera because, well... The Ziploc bag certainly isn't making it in easy in uh, to open it and maybe I could just put my oh that's better I could just um, do it like this and have the bracket out and I just need I really hope it fits in there because it definitely needs to uh, sit flush inside the case and I guess that should, there, are, there are these little screw holes in there and I guess all I want to do is just neatly position in, is just position this bracket in such a way that will hold the you hold the hard drive in place and uh, also won't fall out by but uh I'm installing it the wrong way around maybe like this oh perfect this looks good come on okay so uh I have a feeling that the bracket I got is... No, never mind, it's the right one. 
For some reason I have a feeling that the bracket is wrong, but... It's not supposed to be like this. Also, there are no... None of these screw holes on the sides, so... I really have a strong feeling I did... I got... I genuinely did get the wrong bracket and I wasted my money. I mean to pull this one out or something. There, there, is some, there are some instructions on the on this, but it's easier to is, is hatch and apparently the bracket needs to have. Yeah, where is it? Right here. Apparently the bracket needs to have only one middle uh, screw and this one has two on the side, so I guess I have gotten the wrong one, but. Uh, I don't know what to do with it now, so I guess I will just, well, obviously I will just put it away where it belongs on the pile of parts and wait until, uh, until either I get something, it, I either I don't know, have something to do with it and I maybe may just well figure something decent out. Or it's just going to sit there until the end of time. But then uh, now that this is over with and I don't need to worry about everything just dangling around even even though the SSD is just going to sit uh, on half of the entire and it's both screws, but I guess I will simply have to put up with this one. Uh, so I'm going to once again neatly install it. And the SSD is going to neatly sit here. Just that I need to have the screws installed properly first. And... Uh, oh well, I guess you can't see the computer now. Okay, that's much better. I'm using this computer as a form of temporary stunt until I somehow procure a good one because I'm sitting here installing Windows 2000 here for something that I'm going to do later. But that's not important for that's not re relevant for now. So I have these four small screws. And all I have to do is simply get a Torx screwdriver. I have this one big, this big one from my bike set, but I don't think it's going to fit. Will it? Will it blend or something? I guess not because these these screw holes are. Incredibly tiny. The camera doesn't even focus. Oh, there's my face. No, no, no. That's not I'm going. No, no. Come on. That's not how how I'm I'm going to play. <coughs> so for now, uh, until I get my hands on an actually operational Torx screwdriver that would actually be small enough to see, I'm going to toss the SSD and the screws aside and get the right screws. For this, mm. uh, so with the Curtis, uh, the Apple has uh, seems to have provided us with what seems to be a guide on how to how should the this co this bottom cover be uh, installed, and it looks like I have all the screws, so I'm going to. Uh, keep this uh, metal hatch down here so that I can just use so I can just see where uh, which screw goes where so that I won't have to mess around with it later. Do I have. Ah, uh, whoa, there you go. Now, the only problem is that for some reason my screwdriver very and magnetized even though in past they obviously were but I guess I will just have to put up with it 
Uh, I don't know if it's actually visible, so I'm going to turn around the MacBook on its side so that you can see what I'm doing better. And now I, all I have to do is screw this one in. Okay, looks like this one is sitting flush. And repeat this three these steps three times to get all the uh, longer screws in because there are uh, three longer screws and there is also there are some a multitude of small ones. Actually, I think I just take this little tray I cut for the screws and just pour them out here so that I have much easier access than than having to dig through that tiny bag and. Take this one and screw it in nicely. And I think I can sit down now, now that I have better sight. Screw it in nicely so that it holds the structure properly. Okay, that looks good. And now that I look at it, the entire structure of this laptop feels much more structurally sound and uh, that I don't think the laptop is just gonna break apart when I'm doing something on it which is definitely going to me make the entire experience of using it a bigger pleasure so um, oh, and I would have nearly dropped another one this, this is why I genuinely should maybe figure out a way to magnetize my current st screwdriver, I guess, because otherwise I'm going to keep having accidents with dropping these screws. Come on, what's, what's wrong with this one? Is it too short? Seriously? How many kinds of these screws are on here? Seriously? Oh my lord. Uh, so I'm struggling here, trying to install, oh much better, uh, trying to install a screw right here and the problem is I, uh, I can't exactly get it in. Because all the screws are the same. Why? Focus, okay, better. So, I'm going to need to... Oh, it's magnetic, nice. I didn't know that. Uh, so... It's a win. Obviously not. Uh, I'm... I... I... I have no idea why is it like that, but right here there's supposed to be a screw, but uh, it's, it plainly refuses to... I can't, I can't, I just can't screw it in, whatever I do. Okay, I guess I will just have to ignore it for now. Okay, I guess I will just have to omit this uh, lower part and turn around my laptop into some, to a different position, so I can screw in the rest of these screws. Okay, looks like it should fit well. Mm. 
the only the only problem that the lack of the screw in the top is going to cause is that uh, it's not going to be that waterproof anymore, which is kind of bad actually. But whatever, I guess I will just have to leave it with it. No, at least the cover is magnetic for some reason, which means that I'm not going to have to worry about. This screw is going all over the place. Okay, actually this screw is going all over the place because... What's so magnetic about this? I guess the magnetism of the lower, lower bottom cover is, I guess, the upper bottom cover maybe, uh, is to, I don't know, perhaps just... This one already? They are that shallow? Seriously? I mean, okay. I guess I'll take it. Okay. This one, this one actually looks much... Okay, never mind. This looks... Actually, I think this looks fine. This could be perfectly and my mom just has to bang with the vacuum cleaner against the door. Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, so now question for a hundred points. I think I think I actually just found the right screw to put in there. It's this screw I think. Hopefully, it didn't actually sit that neatly in there, unless it actually belongs somewhere else, then Jesus. I felt a little bit of resistance, but nope, it's still not that one. Okay, so... I'm going to need to keep screwing in this until I'm left with one screw. And I guess I will just have to solve this mystery by using deduction. Ah, oh, come on! Okay. Okay, so this one, it definitely belongs in the lower, in the bottom cover, but it's not where I'm trying to put it in. Okay, and it conveniently got stuck. Going to... Isn't it this this screw right here? I I know it's visible. Now now it is visible. This exact screw, uh, I don't know, but it, just like this one, it doesn't it doesn't exactly fit in flush. Like now, what I began doing is just stripping it, which is not good. Mm, so there are two more screws, which means this is definitely a screw hole as well. Yes, this is a screw hole and it's going to definitely help much with the structural durability. And uh, this screw, which... where does it go? This exact screw, maybe it goes right here. I think. And I dropped it! Just amazing! Oh my god, even better.
Okay, never mind. I at least I managed to find the screw. And I'm surprised, but this is going to be a 20 minute video about me just struggling into... Struggling to... Screwing screws! Oh my lord! This is a literally 20 minute video about me just struggling to screw in a screw big. Uh, while Windows 2000 is formatting a hard drive in the meantime. Okay, and I dropped another screw, and if this was the right screw for this entire thing, then... God help me. Oh, it's right here. Screw. Uh, so... One of these screws is most likely going to be the key to this whole thing. And I never thought I would do this in one shot, but anyways, uh, the heck is this screw? No. I dropped that screw, but at least I have some backup over here. Maybe it's this one? I think it's this one that goes in here. If it even is a screw hole... Yes, it is a screw hole, I think. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Well... Uh, okay. Yep, I'm stripping this one too, so it definitely doesn't belong to me. Ah. Uh, where does it belong even? They also get their own clues, no, I certainly got the right ones. But no matter what, I just can't get in this one to. And I dropped another one. Jesus. So the problem is this: that right here there is a screw. Uh, according to the diagram over here. There is in total four screws, so I so okay. I guess I just strip it. Okay, so the problem is that I over here I have four screws and I got them all in, which is good. But then I have another screw that's right here and I genuinely have no idea what kind of screw could go, go in there. It's supposed to be the same screw that is on down here but it plainly doesn't fit. Whatever, whatever I do, whenever I try to screw it in, it just doesn't fit at all. Why is that going to be a problem? Because uh, it's definitely not going to be perfect in terms of structure. And if I get struck with another heavy rainfall while I have this laptop in the backpack, it's definitely not going to end well. Which is going to be a major problem. Because then I break the laptop. On which what? Okay, uh, so it's been it's been 24 minutes since I began to build this entire thing, and the only thing I have remaining is to get in the hard drive, uh, which I just need to get this a proper screwdriver. Actually, I think I have an idea. I'm going to try and uh, uh, use a standard screw. Use a use some sort of different screwdriver to actually get this in 
without having to go and ask my dad for a screwdriver. So, I guess I'm just going to end this with a cliffhanger or something. No, that's not a cliffhanger. I'm going to actually have to cut this out so that I don't have to... Apparently I've been recording so long that it just wouldn't all go in one shot and my phone just stopped the recording. Uh, but anyways, I'm just going to try to use a an, an different screwdriver to get this installed and see what happens. Okay, so a fast one because I'm... Uh, once again, a quick... Uh, a quick check-in because I'm really running low on space on my phone. I managed to, in a rather brute force method, install the disc screws just by using a pair of pliers and not the knife, a pair of pliers and my own finger fingers. Uh, so the drive is really secure despite the la despite the lack of the bracket. I'm just going to nicely now close the laptop up. Um, nicely close up the bottom cover of the laptop case and, and I think I misaligned it okay this one is really a pain to get in Looks good, I guess. Just the it's not the most secure. I will definitely have to do it properly off camera, but <laughs> come on. Yeah, this is better. So. I would uh, like to thank you for watching if you watched to the end and uh, well remember to like subscribe obviously if you haven't uh, if you want to say something about this or correct me or something then feel free to comment and I guess that's all for me see you around